Gay from Highland Springs High School. This is Culinary One class, and today we'll be doing Master Chef. Here's Culinary One class right here. They will be doing pastry making out of puff pastries. Um, they have four different teams, and they're going to compete to see who can execute it the best. All right. Let's get to our stations, guys. I'm not even playing. All right, we have our judges over here which will be judging our pastries based off of planning, work habits, sanitation, cleanup, teamwork, and follow-up. Um, so right now you guys have your recipes in front of you. Um, you are going to have one hour to complete your recipe and produce a product. So we're gonna start our timer now. Please make sure that you preheat, you grab your equipment, and clean your vegetables and fruits. So go. So team one is going to be the team that is making. I'll grab their piece of paper. Team one is right here. They are making chocolate banana braid. Chocolate banana braid. Chocolate banana braid. Team two, they are the fruit and cream cheese breakfast pastries. Fruit and cream cheese breakfast pastries. Team two. Apple puff pastry. Team four. And that's the team right here. Team three is the chocolate braid. Chocolate braid. That's the team all the way at the end. Chocolate braid. Right now they're starting to prep and get all of their work done. I'm gonna set the timer on the board. Most of them have taken their puff pastry out and started to roll out their puff pastries. See if you can execute this. You're doing a good job. So put your rolling pin on the paper so it can stay flat. There you go. Now just get your puff pastry out. Don't worry about it rolling up. Is that a good um, shape? Yeah, let's, well this part's already pushed out, so push that, push that side out. This one? Yeah, there you go. We want a big square. There you go. And work on that side. You want a straight line, right? Yeah. There you go. It's not that hard. Y'all can do it. Why are you using a little knife? I don't know. You can use a bigger one. Can you please get up and walk around and see what's going on? Ask questions. Make sure they can hear you when you're talking, be loud. So she asks what you guys are doing, so explain what you're doing, what step you're on. You gotta talk louder, Caleb. So loud. I said, I'm just rolling it out right now. What is your plan after the next hour? We gotta, I use loud and first. So, what step are you doing? Uh, cutting the bananas and I'm about to place them. I got a couple more. You can like play. Uh, Are y'all following the recipe? Yeah. Yeah. Okay. Step five. Mm -hmm. Until they're like brown. So the step you're on right now, you're making to the lattice for the top for the apple. Okay. 
Is that part difficult? So how did you make the egg wash? What did you add? I attached one tablespoon of water in there and cracked the egg. So one egg and one tablespoon of water? Yeah. Okay. So you want some of them to overlap? Yeah, some of them. Not all of them need to be overlap because I'll put the egg in. Okay. So I'm only going to overlap some of them. So what's your next step after adding all the bananas? Uh, start cutting the slices diagonally. Cut this piece out like that. You're going to uh, braid it? Yeah, braid it. There okay. Like this, you gotta be careful because you can slice your hand. Should stick with I need new parts that I get. There you go. Good job. Thank you. Wait, chill. <laughs> yeah, I can come. All right. Break this out. Excuse me. Can we make bunnies? Bunnies? Bunnies. From Prince of the Frog, right? Bunnies. Put them on. Get all on the sides. There you go. That looks good. Oh, Ryan, can you sprinkle the sugar on them when she's done with them? 15 to 20 minutes. They ain't dark enough. That's what I'm saying, but they're not, they're, they're, not, they're, not, they're fine, they're fine. No, they're fine. but those look really pretty. Yeah, that looks good. Still not better than mine, though. Come on, come on. Come on. did a good job. I got to hold it, because this one goes right through. Yeah. Really, that's a lot of pastry. Alright, sit them down. Alright. So you guys, first step we have is the breakfast pastry. So breakfast pastry team with the fruit on top. Please come up and explain to the judges, you know, how you cooked it. Let's go. You took the little um pastry out. Put it on um, cooking sheets and roll it out with the rolling pin. And then um, we cut it like, we cut it into <laughs> nine separate pieces. And then we cut an L shape into all the um, slices and folded it over. 
And they put the berries inside. Like, so how did you make the cream cheese filling? <laughs> oh, it was cream cheese, vanilla abstract, and powdered sugar. Okay. All right, next up we have is the banana. All right, so explain how you made your dish. So I took out the puff fish out of the box over there, you know, got some parchment paper, laid it down, put it on there, rolled it out, make sure it's even and nice and big square. And I took the Nutella or the hazelnut chocolate stuff and layered it in the middle of it, make sure it was even all the way down, cut bananas, two of them, and laid them, oh, I lo over layered them on the, the, on the middle of the chocolate. And then I closed it. Before I closed it, I let me cut the sides of it braided over each other. Then, you know, got the egg, got the egg wash, uh, whisked the eggs, and then I took the, what's, it, what's this what's the thing called? <laughs> <laughs> the, the, what's it called? The pastry brush? Yeah, the pastry brush. Okay. I got the pastry brush and I put it in the eggs and I uh, got, uh, layered it over the thing with the eggs and then I put it in there. 15 minutes, not 15 whole minutes, but like, like 10. And um, next up we have the apple. Okay. Apple puff pastry. Okay, so I peeled the apple, then I cut it in half, and then I cored the apple to take to like peel every all the apple seeds and stuff out. Okay. All right. So what did you put on top of your puff pastry? <laughs> what did you sprinkle on top? Oh, sugar. All right. What's the brown mixture? Anaya. Cinnamon, sugar, and melted butter mixed up. Okay. Last, we have our chocolate pinwheels. Uh, first, we um, well, the pin puff pastry, we rolled it out and spread hazelnut spread on top of it. Then cut into little strips and twist it up and roll it into a little spiral. Then, we, as we bake, dust it with some powdered sugar. Okay. All right, judges, what do you think about the meals that you just tasted? They were good. All of them were good. They were good? Mm -hmm. Okay. Did you have a favorite? Um, I think it's the apple fritter. You like the apple puff pastry? Mm -hmm. Mine would, I would choose between the breakfast pastry and the chocolate, chocolate swirl. <laughs> okay. I like cream The cheese. apple one. I think needed a little more longer for the apple to cook, but it's weird because in the puff pastry was cooking fast, mm -hmm. but the apple wasn't cooking fast enough. Right. So there's that weird, like, was there a way to make the apple cook first and then, but the recipe didn't call for that, so. So I think what happened was, um, when you use a convection oven, you always have to remember that they cook faster, and they also have a temperature on the fan that's in there, and your fan was turned up high when it should have been low. So whoever preheated the oven, they should have looked for that. I don't know if we know. I preheated the oven, but... But it was still really good, though. Yeah. The apple taste is really good, regardless of being... So which one do you like the best? I, I don't feel like that. It was, it was really good. It was fresh. It had a fresh, fresh taste. Ooh. The, 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 the fruit. But I think the fruit's what causes it, the fresh taste. Ah, but okay. But chocolate was really decadent, though. So it's, it's hard, because they both were radically different, being fresh and then, like, savory. I don't know what the word I want to use for that, but... Okay. Chocolate pinwheel? Yeah, both chocolate ones. Both chocolate ones were great in the, in the sense of what they work together, and those were as well. Yeah, so we went with a chocolate, more decadent flavor, and then you had the fresh with the fruit and the apple. Mm -hmm. Okay. I'm gonna try this one. All right, you guys did a great job. Cut the camera. Yeah. Cut the camera. Thank you for joining Holland Springs High School Culinary One Master Chef competition. Go Springers!